Hi, my name is Caldwell Shine, and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question is from Jeremy. Jeremy wants to know, what is the number one thing that attracts developers to the Android platform? Well, I'd like to think that it's all about the Java programming language. Java's been around for a very, very long time. I remember Java first being taught in grade school and later on in high school and eventually in colleges around the United States. Today, as a result of that, Java is everywhere. Java is being used by product companies and by enterprise companies. And as a result, there are a lot of Java developers in the community who are able to support what it is that people are trying to do with the Android operating system. Another interesting thing about the Android platform is that a developer can choose which operating system they want to use. For example, the developer could choose Windows, Linux, or Mac. Choosing an operating system is a very personal choice for a developer, and it's good to have this kind of flexibility. The next question is from Stefano. Stefano would like to know where we think augmented reality is headed next. Well, this is a very personal question for me. I like to use technology, but I also don't like technology to get into the way. So I think what's very important about studying this space is that we find out where the utility is in these types of apps that offer an augmented reality experience. For example, Google Glass or other wearables or watches or sensors that tell us something about our environment need to stay out of the way and they need to offer us something that is beneficial. I think therefore it's really important for developers and also designers and especially users to experiment in this space because we still don't know yet what is needed in order to offer utility. Once we experiment in this space, we're gonna be able to figure out what is that next cool app that everybody is going to love because we don't wanna just make something for technology's sake. Alrighty, that's it for this edition of Ask a Developer. If you have any additional questions, please tweet them over to hashtag AskADev.